Now, I'd like to invite up on the stage um, Gil from South Africa. Where is he? Okay, here he is. Fantastic. Um, Gil is the co-founder of Flow Living, uh, and he's going to talk about how portals are growing their revenue with off-site social ads and, becoming indis- and how that's becoming indispensable to their clients. So, Gil, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Simon. It's great to be here. Uh, so I thought I'll just introduce myself. I think it's relevant for, uh, for the context of, of what I'm about to present. So um, 17 years ago or so, I started uh, our first business. My partner and I, Daniel, is also here. Uh, it was an ad tech business, and we became Facebook's partner in Africa. We uh, automated the advertising and really transitioned and moved big brands like Unilever, Nestle, banks, cars, uh, businesses uh, onto social media through through our technology, but we never serviced real estate, right? And that's really where Flow was born. So when we exited that business, uh, we sold it to Publicis, which is a, a media, a large global media group. We we started Flow, uh, trying to solve the problem of how do you get a fragmented, broken industry uh, on these channels that have performed uh, and and provided growth. Uh, for uh, for every single other business uh, in other verticals, so uh, I think the biggest theme of this uh, and what we're learning in this conference is that portals have to evolve how they're making money. There's there's obviously the um, the, the the listings business, the advertising model, right? And in different regions, it's different. Um, and that's really been the core that's evolving, but a lot of businesses globally, globally are doubling down on it, right? And there's, there's no ignoring that that business is how they make money. Uh, but they, other, other portal businesses are continuing to go further down to, to get closer to the transaction, monetize the transaction uh, through the commission models that have been discussed, uh, all the way to monetizing the value chain with mortgages, with, with the financial products that are related to, to uh, the transaction. But clicking into the listings business, um, so if you, look at, if you look at some of the leading portals around the world, how, you know, they've, they've got all the agents, but now how do you increase your revenue? You sell the agents more product. Um, and you, again, either you're going closer to, to the transaction or you can monetize it through the advertising model. Businesses like REA, Rightmove, Hemnet have increased their revenue by uh, doubling down, by, by providing them new value-added products and essentially growing the, the list. Right? So just as an, an idea, um, a business is generally selling... Uh, uh, packages, if it, is, if it is a subscription model, and it can be to projects or to, to excuse me, to, to agencies. Um, but what they're doing is they're bundling new services, right? And this is this is social media advertising and automation where you can really get value um, is, is is one way that they're doing it. Okay, so um, the the way that they are continuing continuing to yield revenue out of their portals is on site. Right, so either you're creating featured ads or uh, whatever it may be, but the biggest opportunity and what I'm going to discuss more is off-site. Right, so it's it's hard to ignore social media and the platforms that people are on, um, and that's really what where the opportunity is to monetize. And I'll I'll go into there. And then of course there's value-added products as well. Um, you know, so so any CRM software, uh, property management, whatever it may be. But if we just go into the off-site opportunity, right? So social media, there, there are 2.9 billion people on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok. That's literally, um, you know, a, a big chunk of the population on the planet. Um, they are on every day. They spend up to four hours a day on these channels, right? And so, so the, the opportunity, and like every single other vertical gl- globally, every other type of business apart from property is, is that they are using these channels over 60% of marketing budget to get the growth. And that's what we're trying to enable for a portal. And we know that it works and it performs and it's important to ensure that agents, projects have access to it automatically and there's a related revenue opportunity. Right? So people on these channels, uh, consumers like you and I, we all probably use some form of social media are immersed, you know, using the channels, it's, it's a very immersive experience. 
short form video like this TikTok video over here with a walkthrough um, and that Remax ad for um, promoting an agent and their brand in the area and the last one is obviously just promoting the listing automatically. That's a, that's a way that the ads manifest and, and you know, that's all familiar. To, that, that surely is familiar to all of you, right, having been on these platforms and that's the opportunity is how do you get agents on these channels uh, or projects or listings on these channels where, where we all use them and we actually trust these channels to, to find and, and relate to businesses. So one in four uh, on TikTok, this is a, a stat that I saw the other day, one in four uh, videos on TikTok are brand videos that we watch and we form a relationship with the brand and, and business happens from there. And that's really the opportunity and what we're trying to do. So how does, how does it work? Right? What am I talking about? How does it work? Um, so essentially, the engine that we've built and uh, uh, allows for the integration to the listings or the agents and the data that's available uh, via a portal to automatically create ads uh, like the ones that you saw on Facebook, on Instagram, on TikTok, wherever the value is. Um, it's, you know, so our machine actually creates thousands of ads at any given time. It creates the video or the image uh, with the overlay, branded with, with the brand, because obviously that's an, a, a critical uh, vanity metric that, that agents are looking for, uh, publishes it out, but importantly, it retargets the audience on the portal. What does retargeting mean? It's like when you go to Amazon and you click on a box of Lego and you don't check out, and then you have an ad following you around the web um, until you buy the box of Lego. Right? But that's a relevant experience because I am looking for a box of Lego and that's what we're doing. So it's, it shows those ads to, to your portal's traffic um, on these social platforms. And remember that most uh, or the people who are visiting your portals are, are, are spending a certain amount of time on portals, but they are spending m uh, three to four hours every day on these social channels. So your opportunity to expose your content to them on these channels is way higher. Uh, and that's exactly what it's doing. Right. So, uh, so, so just an idea right, of the results and what actually happens. So if you look at, if you look at this, this graph, um, when, a, when a listing is uploaded to your portal, uh, it's got a certain amount of listing views per day. And that's the blue bars. Right? The listing views diminish because every time there's a new listing, it obviously drops down the list. And by day seven, it's on page three. But when you turn on the social exposure or the, the social boost, it drives traffic. Uh, it creates an ad on social platforms and drives the traffic back directly to that listing, making sure that it continues to be exposed. Right? That's just an, an idea of how, how it works. So it's important to consider the money out there. Right? What is the money and where, where is it? And if we follow the money, there's an agent wallet or a, or a property developer wallet, project wallet, and, and, and they are spending money to promote their, uh, uh, their listing either through the portal um, or, or outside of the portal, on social media, on digital out of home. And this it, it, integrating to social media is an opportunity to tap more into that wallet. Right? So, so there's... There's a six billion dollar market out there of, of advertising money of the agent or the project that, that, that now s tapping into social media allows that sort of access. Um, and, and more so than that, and I'm going to speak to it in a minute, there's actually um, related services like mortgage, like, like uh, insurance, utilities, security, etc. That, that is a whole other industry that you actually have an opportunity to tap into as well. Right? So, so social media and the audience that you're sitting on allows you not only to monetize that agent or the project wallet, but also to monetize um, the related industries. Right? So, so you can, uh, and what our technology does is it allows you to, to run ads to your audience, visitors on your portal who are high intent property buyers, with related brands, and, and therefore your, 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 your inventory is growing, um, your inventory is capped on the portal, depending on the traffic that you have, but it is uncapped when it comes to social media. And so when you're opening your, your, your audience up to not a $6 billion market, but a $180 billion market when, 
allowing you to run ads like that insurance ad to your audience on the portal. So ultimately the benefits uh, to the portal when they, when they do plug in a, a social media ad extension uh, uh, product like Flow is that uh, of course there is an increase in revenue so you tapping into a wallet that you cannot tap, uh, tap to with, your tra with a traditional model um, because you're going after branding uh, and, and, and other, uh, um, other performance marketing budgets um, and you're also increasing traffic to your portal because when the ad goes out to social media, people click through to the listing or to the agent profile. Um, and ultimately, you're becoming a far stickier product, offering a holistic product uh, to the market, um, providing, providing and ticking the box of the, uh, the vanity and the branding uh, need of an agent. Um, and, and so there's, you know, there's truly is deep benefit for a portal. Um, quickly about Flow and what we do and why, how we've enabled it. Um, so again, our product, uh, we've been around for about uh, almost four years now, but it's, it, our DNA uh, is, is really in the marketing world, um, and it's 20 years of experience behind uh, building this portal, uh, and it's ultimately it's a machine that, that through a rules-based engine and through AI learning automates uh, the, the generation of, of creative, of, of the images or the videos on these, on these platforms, um, and uh, you know there are two there are two uh, products. So Flow Brand um, is is what creates those area expert ads or, or, or sold stock or testimonial ads automatically. And Flow Fuel is what creates the listing ads. Um, so so again, our engine is responsible for creating the ads and the imagery and overlaying the overlaying the um, um, the, the brand of the agent onto the the content. Um, and, and targeting, targeting it ultimately to, to, the, uh, to the audiences on the portal. Um, uh, lastly, so the, uh, I think it's the last slide, so we, we have a very deep uh, API that really reduces the development time. Uh, ultimately, uh, if a portal does want to start offering these sort of products, there, there is a big investment into the technology to try and integrate uh, to understand the APIs across Facebook, Instagram, Google, WeChat, whatever it is. Um, so, so tapping into Flow, you're able to obviously leverage that. Um, uh, Flow is responsible for automating the audience and the performance and the cre creating the, the, the creative um, and, and ensuring that there's maximum yield of, of uh, your, uh, y your product. Thank you very much. Gil, thank you very much. Um, cool. Super interesting how you're basically providing a way in which not only if I've been looking at properties, you can track me around the web until I finally engage with yeah. it, but you also provide a broader catchment of lead generation for the portal, which, which I love what you're doing. A couple of questions. What is the business model? So, so how do you make money? We make money by taking a percentage of the spend of the, of the advertising budget and we rev share that with the portal. Okay, do you want to expand that? Expand on how that works? So every, um, you know, so if you're bundling part of your subscription with, with social media automated advertising, you're charging an extra $100. Uh, generally we take, um, it ranges per market, uh, but you know, call it 30%. Uh, so we make $30 and we, rev we split that with the portal. Okay. Now, um, you showed a graph showing the decline in listing views and the growth of views from social um, media over time. Where did that data come from? Um, I mean, generally, the, uh, a search portal or, or a property portal is, is a search engine by nature. Yeah. Right? So, so when you experience it as a consumer, it's, 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 it's listings and they obviously go down. Yeah. But, like, but you showed the graph of the decline of the views. Like, there, yeah. A, 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 um, like a, some stats. Right. Where did those stats come from? Well, uh, so, I mean, th those were the listing views and that was just generic numbers. Oh, okay. Yep. Right? But I, I did have a bunch of stats in there and I actually used Mark Del Pret, uh, I think a lot of you know, uh, so that's where a lot of the other stats come okay. from. So what are the major challenges for anyone implementing this, this sort of solution into their offering? Is it 
a simple API introduction and it's really about getting sales and marketing to yeah, bundle exactly. it in properly? It's the latter. So, so there is an API integration, um, but that's, that's quite simple. We've managed to simplify it quite a lot. So, so technically, it's not heavy on the development team, uh, but it's really about the go-to-market. So how do you, how do you actually create uh, the go-to-market strategy? How do you package it in? How do you price it? How do you actually leverage it to ensure that you're increasing your revenue? Which makes a lot of sense. Now, what, what I like about this is if, if I'm a portal or a marketplace operating in a, tra in a traditional market, an established market, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to go, it's, it's much harder to go into the transaction business. And we saw that right. from, from Scott's presentation. We saw it from Christoph about how they're really optimizing their offer and placing themselves at the center of that lead generation conversation for the agents and the developers. What I like is that your offer is perfect for them because it's now extending that yes. and allowing them to capture more value. Right. Um, but what's also interesting is for those businesses going to the transaction segment, where getting quality convertible leads is critical. And as we chatted yesterday with uh, Mike from Fuzzwaz, you know, on site, 90% of his leads are being generated by himself. Um, or, or now they've got a relationship with uh, Dot Property. They're going to probably get some from there as well. Yeah. But you're offering that, those transaction players with another mechanism for generating high-quality leads. Right, right. And you can still, be, you know, in, in emerging markets, like we've been hearing a lot of, a lot of the, like where the money is, is really in the, in the, um, the primary, so developers and projects. Um, and so they, 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 they likely are spending on these channels. So you can have a holistic bundled product to them as well. So as much as you're really focusing on, on, on exactly what you're saying, on generating a more leads and more quality leads, mm -hmm. um, there, there are ways to even bundle it to your offering to, to property developers in, in emerging markets. Yeah. Question on the uh, second last question. What's the difference in conversion rates but, and our acquisition costs between on-site and off-site ads? Do you have any stats on that? So, I mean, the, the, the metrics to really measure are an increase in exposure or increase in listing views, um, generally because of the cost of the inventory on Facebook and on Instagram and, and other channels. Um, when you run a standard campaign, you, you can get 2 to 3x the listing views. Because you're retargeting traffic off your portal, the quality of the listing views are high too. So there's a proportional increase in conversion rates as well. So it's, it's proportional. But it can also increase further because, again, you're engaging someone later down the funnel who's already shown intent. Okay. One last question. How does um, the improvements in technology, we talked about AI, machine learning, et cetera, et cetera, impact this sort of operation? You still have people, uh, all of us, who are on these channels, on social platforms. We're using it for hours a day. AI, they, they're each deploying their own AR strategies, and those AR strategies are about serving you better and better content so that you stay longer on those platforms. Um, so it obviously benefits all of us, and we rely on them to do that very well because they're, they're the ones that are sitting on that data, and it's optimizing and providing us more content. What our tech does is just tap into, into that existing AR technology behind it, um, and maximizes it. So delivering a listing or an agent's profile to the right person on these platforms becomes a better and better experience and more and more performance. Fantastic. Gil, thank you very much. Thank I you. like what you're doing. Thank you. And now uh, well done. Thank, thank you. you. Cool.